Hello everyone and welcome to Salesforce FAQs. So today in this video, we are going to learn how we can integrate WhatsApp with Salesforce. So in this process, we are going to integrate the WhatsApp with Salesforce using the WhatsApp API and using the phone field of the Salesforce object. We are going to open the WhatsApp chat for that specific record. So let me show you a demo of the integration that I've done for the contact object. So here I am on the contacts tab and here I will open a contact record with the phone field. So here we have contact Henry Johns. So here using the WhatsApp integration, we will open the chat for the phone number that is entered over here. So by integrating this Salesforce contact object with the WhatsApp, we will open a WhatsApp chat for a phone number that is mentioned over here in the phone field. So for that, I have defined the action button that is WhatsApp chat. So as we click on it, it will redirect to the WhatsApp and also it will show the default message that I've entered over here. So, so dynamically it will fetch the contact name and then the rest of the message will be displayed after that. So to continue on the WhatsApp, we have to click on continue to the chat. So now you can see as we click on the WhatsApp chat button, it will open directly in the WhatsApp and the default message will be displayed over here. So in case if the WhatsApp number is invalid or it is not there on the WhatsApp, then it will give the error message. So let me show you that also. So for example, this number is not valid. So I will open this account. So as I click on the button WhatsApp chat, it will open in the WhatsApp window, but it will show the message that the number is, isn't on the WhatsApp. So here you can see the phone number isn't on WhatsApp. So this is how it will handle the invalid or the number that are not registered with the WhatsApp. So this was the demo and now we'll move ahead and see the process. How we can integrate the WhatsApp API with the Salesforce object having the phone field. So as of now, I'm on the setup page of Salesforce Lightning. And before starting the process, I will just take few seconds to introduce our newly launched Salesforce admin course. So first, let me show you the course content, then we will continue to the topic. So this is our newly launched the Salesforce admin course. And I will also mention the course link in the description from where you can access and view the course. So we have designed this course specifically for the beginners and the people who want to learn the admin part. So in this course, you are going to get more than 50 hours of video content, including PDFs and solution. And for this course, we have covered every module in depth. You can see these are the modules that we have covered in this course. That is introduction to Salesforce, Salesforce navigation and setup. So in the modules, you can see the table of content so that you will have an idea what are the topics that we have covered in this admin course. And we have covered this course in 10 modules. So it will take you around two to three months to complete this whole course. And when it comes to the pricing, we have kept it $199 for the lifetime access. So once you purchase this course, you are going to get lifetime access for this course. So this was all about the course and now let's move. Back. So in the demo, I have given the example how can how we can integrate the WhatsApp API for the contact phone field. And now in this example, I will use the lead object and using the lead phone number field, we will open the WhatsApp chat for the leads phone number. So for that, first we need to create a WhatsApp chat button. So here click on the object manager and from the quick find box, search the object. So here we can only select those objects having a phone field because the whole idea is to open a chat box using that phone number. So here I will click on the lead object and to create the action button, you have to click on button links and action. So what we are going to create in this setup is a button. So here click on new button or link. So here we have to enter the label and the name for the action button. So here I'm going to name it as open WhatsApp chat and here the name will be out of field. And in the option display type, we have to select the option display page button and in the behavior select display in new window. So here the content source is going to be the URL. And now here in the formula editor, we have to enter the WhatsApp API in the merge field so in the merge field we will take the lead phone number field so here first we will enter the whatsapp api link and you can also get this api link for from whatsapp.api so here we will enter the api that is https slash then we have to enter api dot whatsapp dot com and after this we have to enter send so this is the api that you will get from the api.whatsapp.com and also i have written it over here in the same api i will mention in the description also so here we have to enter the merge field so the merge field is going to be the lead phone number so for that here click on the drop down insert merge field and from here select lead phone number 
so it will appear like lead phone and to add the default message you have to add a and operator and then enter text equals to so to encode the text and the merge field we are going to insert a json code function so for that go to this function sections and select json code and click insert selected function so inside the json code function we have to enter the text that is the default text that we want to display in the whatsapp chat so i will enter hi and to fetch the lead name dynamically i will i will enter one more merge field that is the lead name and then again one more end operator and then rest of the message that is how are you so with this we have completed the code for this action button that will open the chat for the lead phone number and to check the syntax you have to click on the check syntax button and as you can see there are no errors in the formula so here we will click on the save button so here it is showing the message that that unless we don't add the button to the page layout it won't be visible to the users so to add the button on the page layout go to the page layout section and here you have to select the default page layout so here in the page layout setup go to the mobile lightning and actions and here search the button that you have created so it was open whatsapp chat so you have to drag this button to the section salesforce mobile and lightning actions and drop it over here and now to save the changes click on the save button so as of now we have created the button that will open the whatsapp chat so to test the whatsapp integration with the lead with the lead object we will navigate to the lead object tab so here i will open any of the contact record having the valid phone field where the phone field is not null so here you can see the action button open whatsapp chat so this is the action button that we have created right now so if it is working fine then it will open the whatsapp chat for the phone number that is mentioned that is mentioned over here in the phone field so here i will click on the button watch open whatsapp chat so first you will see this window hi hi and the and then it will show the name of the lead so here click on the button continue to the chat so now you can see the same default message over here in the chat box and as i click on it it will it will be sent to the phone number that is entered in the lead phone number field so this is how you can integrate whatsapp with the salesforce object having the phone number field so with this you don't need to save the phone numbers of the lead contacts and account you can simply integrate it with the whatsapp through the api and create a custom chat button that will redirect you directly to the chat box of the whatsapp so this was all about integrating whatsapp with the salesforce object using the whatsapp api link and i hope that you have liked this video then please do like share and subscribe us and do not forget to hit the bell icon so that you can get regular updates of our upcoming videos and thank you for giving your time and watching this video till last see you in the next video till then goodbye